Are you just getting started with small scale livestock and you're trying to figure out should I raise rabbits or should I raise quail? That's what we're going to talk about in today's video and get that all cleared up for you. So stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name is Chris. If you're not familiar with my channel, I focus on helping you to produce your own vegetables, meat, and eggs from your backyard, your garage, balcony, or heck, even a spare room in your house if you want to. Today's video is going to be about a topic that I get all the time from uh, people that are new to small scale livestock and which one is better for me to raise, quail or rabbits. And actually it, it really kind of depends a lot on your situation. First of all, let me start off just by talking about some things that are very similar between the two of them. Uh, first of all, as you probably already know, they both produce very tasty, very nutritious meat. They're both very cheap to raise. Uh, as far as food conversion goes, they're both pretty similar on that. They do a fantastic job of converting feed into meat. Uh, both are about ready to butcher at about eight weeks old. Uh, so there's a very short turnaround time for you to get them from baby to adult, but they both pretty much tie in that area as well. And they both can be kept in very, very small spaces. And if you guys have been watching my channel, you know I just have one rabbit shed right here, and I have a couple of quail hutches out there, which we'll show you here in just a few minutes. Okay, there are a few places where rabbits, in my opinion, are a clear winner over quail. Uh, one, their meat. Um, I just feel like it's more versatile. It can be used in pretty much any recipe that calls for chicken or pork, uh, whereas quail, um, you're pretty much just cooking quail. There's not enough meat there. I mean, you could debone them and use them, but there's not enough meat there on most of them to really do much with that. So it's a little bit more versatile meat with rabbits. Uh, you can use it in a lot of different ways. Secondly, rabbits are incredibly quiet. Now, the quail aren't really too noisy, uh, but you might hear here in a few seconds, I've got some uh, males in the garage. They're growing out and just found their voice, and boy, they're crowing like crazy, especially first thing in the morning. It's not really that loud, but rabbits are incredibly quiet. They make almost no, 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 no noise whatsoever. A little bit of a tongue twister there. So if you live in an apartment, uh, you have very close neighbors, or you need to kind of keep them hidden, so to speak, quail, or excuse me, rabbits would probably be better for that because they are so, so, so quiet. Another thing about rabbits is when you uh, when they have babies, they're they're a little bit less maintenance because you don't have to worry about an incubator and a brooder box and moving the you know babies around and keeping them warm. Pretty much take care of themselves, so they're a little bit less maintenance from that standpoint. Other than just uh, the day that they give birth, making sure that they put them in the nest box. But once that's done, if you've got a good mother, that's pretty much all you've got to do. The rabbits will do the rest and take care of them. So a little bit less maintenance from that standpoint. If if that's something that's important to you, then rabbits are a clear winner for that. Rabbits are perfectly happy living by themselves in a cage. They don't need to be grouped together. And what that means is that um, you can introduce new rabbits to your rabbitry in their own cage a lot easier. With quail, they're more of a communal bird. They need to be in groups, but they're very, very, they get very established. So when you try to introduce new birds to that, a lot of the times there's fighting. They'll, they'll often kill the new bird that gets introduced into the flock. So rabbits are much easier from that standpoint. Rabbits have a dual purpose as well, because when you butcher, you have a, a little bit of a fur yield. Now, truthfully, the, the baby rabbits, when you're butchering them, I shouldn't say babies, that sounds so horrible, but you know, eight weeks old when you're butchering, that fur's not in the best condition to use for like clothing and those kinds of things. It's more of a craft fur, but it is a double, fur, uh, double yield. You also get uh, rabbit feet. I, I, give, I make rabbit feet keychains. I've got a video on how to do that, and I give those out to the kids at the church or people at work, and everybody just loves those things. Um, they also get dog, ear, or dog treats out of them. I cut the ears off, dehydrate those. I've got a video on that as well, and I make dog treats out of that. So I get multiple yields out of the rabbit. And probably the best thing about rabbits and where they, they went out over quail more than anything else is their poop. And that's right, their poop. <laughs> it's fantastic fertilizer. It doesn't need to be composted. It's a cold manure. You can throw it straight on your plants. If you try to do that with quail manure, uh, you're going to burn your plants. You have to compost that before you can use that as a fertilizer. So a clear winner for rabbits in that category. All right, now let's talk about where quail actually win out. A couple things about quail. First of all, they're a dual purpose. You get a meat yield and an egg yield out of that, so that's a big benefit for the quail. Um, they're a little bit easier to ramp up production. So what I mean by that is that with quail, if you want more birds, all you have to do is set more eggs. Uh, whereas rabbits, you can't just go out there and just you know wave a magic wand and get a rabbit to produce another bunch of rabbits. Uh, they also get up to breeding age much, much quicker. When these birds hit about eight weeks old, they start laying eggs and they're already ready to breed. Whereas rabbits, you're gonna wait six months or so to, to grow a rabbit out to breeding age 
probably closer to eight months actually to grow a rabbit out to breeding age and start producing young at that point and then it's still another you know six eight weeks before you get anything out of that rabbit so it's a little bit quicker to ramp up your production with quail Quail are a little bit cleaner in ways. Uh, what I mean by that is that if you're keeping them inside, like in a spare room or something like that, quail's probably a better bet. They don't, um, the biggest reason is they don't urinate, uh, whereas rabbits tend, even if you've got dropping pans under their cages, they tend to pee right over the side of those dropping cages, onto the floor, onto the wall, whatever's nearby them. So you don't have that problem with quail, and they're a little bit cleaner from that standpoint. Quail are also easier and cheaper to house. You can use things like hardware cloth on their cages instead of having to get special cage wire like you do for rabbits. You don't have to worry about wood and objects and things like that being in their cages because they don't chew on those things. So in a way, it's just a lot easier to house the quail. Pretty much anything will work for them, whereas with rabbits, you've got to be a little bit more particular with what you're using. And let's face it, quail are much easier to handle. It's so much easier to reach in there, pick up one of these birds, grab them. They, they don't seem to mind at all, whereas with the rabbits, you know, you can reach in and you can pet them. They're cute, they're cuddly, all those kinds of things, but you better have sleeves on if you're going to pick them up or you're going to end up getting just scratched up beyond belief, look like Freddy Krueger got a hold of you. Another thing you might want to check into is your city ordinances. A lot of cities have ordinances against rabbits, or you have to have a permit, or you can, you know, you, there's requirements on cage space, some of those kinds of things, how far they have to be kept away from buildings. Whereas quail are something that's fairly new as far as urban you know, homesteading goes. So the, a lot of times there's no ordinances on those things, and you can get away with them, whereas you might not be able to get away with rabbits as easily. And another great thing about quail is they're so much easier to butcher. It's so quick to process a quail that, you know, the rabbits take a little bit of time. And if you're doing a whole batch, it's, it's several, I mean, not a lot of time, but it is a little bit more of an involved process. With the quail, I can do it right at the kitchen sink and just, I can get a quail butchered processed in less than five minutes and be good to go and be ready to go. And finally, you might have a little bit of a less of a, a backlash from city people. If you live in a close-knit neighborhood and you've got rabbits back there and they know that you're, but you're butchering those rabbits, they tend to get a little bit kind of queasy about that, a little bit uneasy. But with quail, it doesn't seem to bother people nearly as much. So you might try, that might be something that would work for you if you're in that kind of a situation. So you can see there's a clear winners in certain categories, clear losers in certain categories, but really uh, there's a lot of ways they, they pretty much match up identically. So if you're really having a hard time trying to figure out which one to raise, heck, raise both like I do. Um, if you've got the room, why not do it? Hopefully that gives you some things that you can kind of think about though. If you guys like this channel, consider uh, supporting it through my Patreon page. I'll leave a link down below where you can check that out. Uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. If I forgot something, if there's something else that you think uh, is important to add into this, and I want to thank you guys for watching. As always, God bless.